Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I'll share a tomato and mountain cheese powder ramen in Tsukumo. Let's go! Today, I came to Tsukumo ramen. It serves European style ramen, which is tomato and cheese ramen. Inside of a restaurant, it's modern style ramen store. It doesn't seem like a ramen shop. It's more like another type of restaurant. There are plenty of counter seats and tables for customers. This is a ticket vending machine. This is also modern, latest style vending machine. We can see ramen images when we order. It serves multilingual service. We can switch language to Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese. Let's see menu briefly. We can order ramen, toppings, side menu, and beverages. This is the first page, it's for ramen. Second page is for toppings. Unfortunately, there's no image for toppings. There are varieties of toppings we can order. Third page is for side menu. This food looks really nice. Last page is for drinks. Order whatever you want. Let's get tickets. I'll have Malukyu tomato cheese ramen for today. We can choose thickness of noodles. I'll take medium for this time and place this gym button on the bottom. I want topping, so I'll select topping. I also take my favorite topping, season egg. Shop manager told me rice is really nice with tomato ramen, so I'll take yaki cheese onigiri from side menu page. Once we decide orders, place pay button on the bottom. To confirm one more time, to proceed next. If it is okay, place pay button. Our orders will be sent to kitchen. Take a receipt and keep it until ramen is served. This is one of our table to have ramen. Let's check what's on the table. There are menu, cups, napkins, chopsticks, seasoning bottles, and dishes. My last dish has been solved. Cheese ramen is made by special machine. Let's see it. My ramen is also soft. Let's check ramen. This is Malaku tomato cheese ramen. It costs 1200 yen. It's about 8.19 US dollars. Soup is tomato and powder cheese is at the center. It smells really nice. Let's see ramen in detail. First one is soup. Soup is quite thick because this is from tomato. It's red, but it's not spicy at all. It's tasty tomato ramen soup. Next one is powder cheese. This cheese is from Hokkaido, Japan. It smells good and it must taste good. Chopped basil is on soup. It's uncooked rich basil. Tomato sauce and diced tomato is on soup as well. Not only soup, but we can also enjoy tomato. Last one is noodles. I selected medium noodles, so it's quite thick. It looks really chewy. Seasoned egg was served separately, so I'll nicely put it onto ramen. This is my ramen today. Let's have ramen. Please subscribe my channel. Itadakimasu. Let me have soup first as usual. This is really thick soup. So much tomatoes are in soup. It smells so nice of tomato and broth. This is very interesting. It's very rich taste of tomato soup. It's good. I can taste broth of something very rich. I guess it's from beef or chicken. And tomato is also really rich. If somebody likes tomato, this is wonderful. Next one is noodles. It has so much volume. Look at that. This is amazing! 
Noodles are so good. Noodles are really chewy and it brings so much tomato soup. Super thick and noodles are also thick. So in my mouth, it's full of happiness. Let's have cheese next. It's getting melted. This is good. It tastes so rich. This cheese doesn't have odor at all. It's fresh and then not natural cheese. So I think anyone can have it. It's good. Let's mingle cheese, soup, and noodles all together. This combination will make way better ramen taste. This is awesome! I had them separately and each of them was really good. But obviously, mingling all together, it's much better. It tastes very, very, very delicious. Next, I'll have basil. This is all, so it tastes refresh and so fragrant. Tomato and basil are a good combination. It's like I'm having pasta. Season egg is coming next. It's really beautiful season egg. Let's check softness. Yeah. It's looking good. Let's check inside too. Mm, egg yolk doesn't come out. It's really gooey. I'll have it with ramen set. It tastes marvelous! Egg yolk is a little bit too hard for me, but it tastes really nice. It's well seasoned, and this taste fits ramen soup very much. This is very high quality seasoned egg. I forgot to fill water. Water is self served, so take a glass on the table to serve ourselves. A jug was served by a shop staff while I was waiting for ramen. Let's have it. It's good. I ordered yaki cheese onigiri. I'll show you the way of having it. Once we have ramen until this much, it's a time to have onigiri. Scoop some soup and put it to onigiri twice or more. And then we'll mingle it until we'll be satisfied. It's done. Let me have one. This is good. Soup tastes really rich, so it's very nice with rice as well. Once we put soup on rice, rice is gonna be like risotto. Baked cheese is topped with rice, so this rice dish is well thought. This is fantastic. However, I realized that I should put some more soup on it. And I'll mix up well until like this. It must be way better. How it goes? Yeah, it's much better. It's great. <laughs> Two or three scoops of soup were not enough. I should have done 10 times along. Lemon soup nicely seasons rice. It's juicy and tasty. This is good. So, this is all about Tsukumo and tomato ramen. Tsukumo is located in Ebisu, but it's a bit far away from the station. It takes 5 to 10 minutes. It's quite busy shop, but its business hour is long, so it's easy to have ramen depending on time. Tomato ramen is very tasty. It's very hard to find tomato cheese ramen shop in Tokyo. If you want to see special cheese machine or have tomato ramen, come to Tsukumo. Tsukumo also serves miso tonkotsu cheese ramen as well. This is also good, so try tomato or tonkotsu ramen, anything you want. I hope you love both ramen. Gotsuo sama deshita.
give me a comment what you want to see. How was it? Tomato ramen sounds unusual, but it tastes amazingly good. Especially ramen soup. It's so tasty. It's incredible. Tomato ramen is going to be so popular. Try it once. I have Twitter and Instagram accounts. Please follow me. If you have any requests, give me comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is all for today. See you in the next video. Bye!